Good morning, my brothers and sisters. What's happening? This is Coach Rowe. This is the Coach Rowe Show. I got my squad with me. My boy Iggy from the Iggy Biggity. What's up, bro? What's up, Iggy? How's bro, everything bro. going, man? Yeah, it's all right. You, know, <laughs> I mean, you still keeping it Biggity, bro? I'll tell you what, man. Baseball season starts tomorrow, Ooh. man. Oh, is that a good thing? Yeah, for is the that? Giants it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you do. I got the icon here, Daryl Wheeler. Yeah, What's up, sir? Wheels? In the house, this is the place to be. That's right. right. Yes, okay. right. sir. I want to say good morning to my beautiful daughter, Serenity J. Oh. Okay, hopefully, go ahead. Hopefully she's up. You know, see her later. Oh, hey. Dad, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Put me on blast. Damn. <laughs> hey, you guys know. Oh, Big Al on the boards. Yes. Big Al. What's oh, up, Big yeah, Al? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Al. Big Al. His props. Yeah. Yeah. He should yeah. be known as Big Bubba Al. Big Bubba, <laughs> Al. <laughs> Big Bubba Al Smokehouse Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Smokehouse. Yeah. 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 Cold Gorilla. Body by. Body by the discipline. Hey. Yes. You know, I, as you guys know, I've helped uh, quite a few guys get into college. Um, and uh, When did you start that? Oh, a few, <laughs> few years ago. A um, long time ago. Check mystery to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know anything. There's one guy that I helped. That this is with the VHS days now. Oh. Two turntables and a broken 808. Man, you, you, know. you telling his age. Yeah, I know. I was going back to his party Rican days. <laughs> I went to the four track days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had the five VCRs uh, stacked up, up to top to bottom, man, and just mixing and scratching there. But uh, it paid one, off. Yeah. yeah. This one young man I helped, uh, great, get great kid. He's our, first, our our guest today. His name is Rockin' Cox. Yeah. <laughs> hey, when I told Iggy to have Rockin' over here, he said, is Eric B coming? Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Are you named after Rockin' and Eric B? Uh, my mom was uh, raised in that area and my yeah. dad, so, you know, possibly. <laughs> yeah, Rockin' went to San Diego High. Oh. Then he went Avers. to Villanova. Avers. Ooh, hey, they're doing all right. They're doing all right. National championship tomorrow. They're doing all right. They're doing pretty good. They're whooping on Oklahoma, didn't they? Ooh. Did Oklahoma show up for that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, but North Carolina's a different beast. Oh, Rock Kim, what do you think? What's your, what's your scout report? We'll, we'll see. You know, everyone <laughs> everyone says that. And they are they are good, but we we mopped up Oklahoma pretty good yesterday yeah. by almost 50 points. So yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I'm rolling with my squad. Yeah. I'm going to roll with my squad. Now, San Diego High, man, I remember uh, remember Big Cal, Kelvin McClinton, he, he called me one day and said, Bro, we got this dude, man. Yeah. He, he raw, but he good, man. He's going to be you know really good. Rock him, Cox, all right. So um, the next day, Paul Turner calls me. He says, Bro, I got some film for you to chop up, man. This, this kid named Rock him. I said, Yeah, Big Cal told me about him, man. <laughs> so um, he was a tight end. Tell us about your San Diego High days, my man. Yeah, back in. Uh... I went there in 08. I started as a, a tight end. And uh I was I was like a receiving tight end really. Yeah. Um we were horrible. <laughs> we went one and nine both years, my junior year and my senior year. He was beat by everybody in San Diego. But you know, I did enough to show out to uh, you know, earn a scholarship to Villanova. And, yeah. uh, and that's why I did my college, graduated. Um, had a great career there. Actually actually transferred to uh Transition to defensive end when I got there. Right. So I didn't even I didn't even play tight end when I got to college. Uh, I transitioned to defensive end, and uh, you know everything everything worked out for the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? So you got signed to the Vikings on draft day, and or right there after, shortly thereafter, right? Yeah, right after the draft, the Minnesota Vikings uh, they had called me. I signed there as an undrafted free agent. Um, I was there for. The whole, you know, the whole offseason period up into camp, and they actually released me during camp. That's when the uh, Dolphins had signed me. Well, the Dolphins, the Dolphins signed me like about like three days, four days later, mm -hmm. and um, I was with them for about a week. And then they had cut me during their final, their, their first cuts. Um, and then, as you know, I was out of football all last year. Mm -hmm. I was back home training, you know, day in day out. Mm -hmm. Wasn't working, didn't have a job. Uh, was staying with my grandma. Was, you know, training, training, training. Carolina called me. Went there as a tryout player, and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> <You> made it, <laughs> made it. Like, and of course, this year you went to the Super Bowl. Yes, sir, man. That was <laughs> that was an experience of a lifetime, man. Most people, 
uh, Jared Allen, one of our team, one of my teammates. Right. You know, he's been playing this game for you know twelve years, and now it's his first Super Bowl. Right. Damn. His first. You know, I'm I'm just here. I'm coming in my first official year on the team, and you know we get there. You know, it's just, <laughs> it, was, it was crazy experience. You know, the the media, the uh, the publicity. You would have thought that we were like the president. The way that, <laughs> the, way, the, way that the security, the people were acting, it was ridiculous. <laughs> You know, got to meet a lot of great players, uh, met a lot of great people. Um, just the excitement and the energy of that whole city was just, it was yeah, ridiculous. That's awesome. It was man. fun. <laughs> it was fun. So, um, you know, coming up as a young kid, that's everybody's dream, you know, to, to be in the NFL and go to the Super Bowl. So did you go somewhere when you finally made it to the Super Bowl and made it to the Panthers? Like, did you go somewhere quiet by yourself and just say, "Yeah"? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know how I, I'm. I'm always. I've always been that kind of like laid back yeah. kind of guy. So I don't like. No matter. Even though it was a Super Bowl, honestly, at that point in time, I was like, "All right, yeah, we're here." I'm just kind of still filling things out. Like I didn't really feel the excitement until after. I was like, "I can't believe like we really went to the Super Bowl." Mm-hmm. You know, but during it, I was just real, you know, I'm really laid back and humble and like, you know, quiet. And I was just like, all right, it's not really that huge of a deal. But like I said, after the fact, I think that's when it hit me after the fact. I was like, wow. And then you see all the pictures and you look at all the memorabilia and the history. Of, people don't do this all the time. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm just like, man. Yeah, like, some people go uh, 15 years exactly. and yeah. never get up. And now I, don't know, now I don't know if I will ever go back again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is, is that is that <laughs> hard? I know. So, yeah. I remember, after the play. I'm sorry, but I remember Marcus yeah. Allen said because when he first went to the Super Bowl, he thought he'd be coming back <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> and but that was at that one time. That was yeah, he was one of the he was one of the right. greats. Exactly, oh, he was yeah. one of the greats yeah. of all awesome. time. Yeah. <laughs> now, how early did you start football? Because you know, I, I played for, uh, Pop Warner one year because, of course, I was uh, too chunky for funky. <laughs> 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 after after one, yeah. but, yeah. Uh, when did I start? I think in 1998. I might have been like seven years old. Okay. For the Imperial Beach Chiefs. Oh, oh another IB guy. Yeah. Chiefs. IB, yeah. <laughs> yeah. IB Chiefs. Do you but, uh, remember a kid named Kevin Davies? Kevin Davis. Davies. Davies? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, because he was the all-world IB guy around there. Around that time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin, he could have been on my team. I'm not sure. No, no. Oh, you would know him. If he was on your team, <laughs> you might would know him. No, I, I remember him, oh, too. Okay. My guys were, uh, I still talk to them as the, uh, Tommy and uh, Thomas the Togi. Oh, yeah, so Thomas, yeah. The togi. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still actually talk to them to, till today. We yeah. were all on the same Pop Warner team. At, you know, we were seven years old. And uh, I actually was with them last weekend. And, um, but yeah, then I started their flag. I did mm-hmm. Mighty Mites. Then I did Junior Pee Wee there. And after that, I kind of you know, moved around a little bit, but that's where that's where yeah. it all started at. Wow, that's where it started at. And, and were you the O line or were you receiver? Oh, no, nah, I was. I was. See, I was skinny back then. When I, was up there. I was skinny. I was receiver number ninety nine. I, I remember them days. I was receiver, and I was ninety nine in, uh, in college. So, so who would you right. play against in Pop Warner that we might know? Man, everybody. Uh, you know, everybody who like who went to VP and, you know, Balboa and you know, all those all those guys, I'm pretty sure, you know, like, um you guys know like Tony Jefferson and Kenny Stills. Oh, yeah. Um yeah. I'm trying to think where they uh who else played in. You remember Lante Womack? Oh yeah. Not NFL yeah, right now, but yeah. a great, you know, player, you yeah. know, growing up. Uh, Snoop White. Yeah. Uh Wow, that's a lot of people. See, so that means Kevin came before you. He might have been he before did, me. He did. What did he yeah, because when you said Snoop. Yeah. Yeah, because Snoop was under him. Was he? Okay. Yeah, he went. I think he ended up at Tula Vista High School. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Because he came from the Imperial Beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he went there. It, it was a bidding war in them high schools around there. Yeah. Before yeah. Him. yeah. yeah. Well, he was nice, man. Yeah, yeah. So um, one day. Uh, Rakim and uh, Rashad Ridley. <laughs> I'm not saying what he's going to say. He came out, he came out to Claremont, you know. Claremont is not too much known for uh, you know, having so much, too many brothers out there, but and, and where I live, but um, they're trying to come to the crib. It was even little Rashad, so he's 6'5", 5'5". Five, 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 five. <laughs> <laughs> and they knocked on the wrong door. Oh, 
and uh, they let him in the house. Oh yeah, come on in. You know, the ladies watching the dishes, right? <laughs> come on. So about five minutes later, the they're like, <laughs> "What'd you say?" He said, "Is Coach Rowley?" The, fu- the funny thing is, I've, I've I've already been to his house before. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been to his house before at this point. So she lets us in. I'm like, I'm thinking he's in the back or something. Like he's gonna come out, and the ladies just. She's sitting there. She's walking in the kitchen. And me and Rashad are just literally sitting there like, all right, close your way. Who are these white people? And then, like, kind of, and then her daughter, like, walks in. And she's, like, looking at us weird. And I'm, like, I'm like, bro, I think we're in the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> then the like, next thing I know, her husband comes in. Yeah. Her husband comes in. <laughs> Yeah, that's what comes in and sees this big black guy sitting on the couch. <laughs> Which is, <that's> it. <laughs> I knew you were playing on me. Oh, I remember her husband walks in. He's just kind of looking at us. And I don't know if he was scared or not, but I, by that time, I was, I was like, Rashad, I think we're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of get up and just kind of walk out. And they're like, looking at us by the door. But then I looked out the window. They was running. <laughs> What high school did you go to? <laughs> oh, I'm in San Diego. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's probably that like iggy biggity influence. <laughs> you let them in, though. The kid let them in. All them houses look alike. Yeah. Yeah, they do, though. They yeah, do. They do. They do. <laughs> but you, you guys had a flag <laughs> in the front. Yeah. That, yeah. Used to, that used to be my indicator. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be driving down there, and I'm like, oh, there's the flag. Is it, it uh, uh, the goat or anything like that? The goat goats and the chickens. <laughs> hey, they, they didn't marks. have a long lifespan. <laughs> yeah, they were him over there. <laughs> what you taught him? So, man, tell me about the times at Villanova. I mean, you guys had a great squad. You, I think you guys won a title. Yeah. yeah. My freshman year, uh, we actually won the national championship, the Double A national championship. Um, you know, going into my sophomore year, that's when I my my. Uh, my red shirt freshman year, that's when I started. Mm-hmm. Um, switched my number to 99, everything. You know, four years starter. Mm-hmm. Um, had a blast at the Villanova. It was actually it's in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. So I went, you know, I went a long, long way away. Mm-hmm. And I uh, met a lot of great friends. There's actually a lot of people from California that, you know, that went there. A lot of people from like St. Augustine and Cathedral right. you know, that I met who go there. And, uh, you know, I met some of my best friends who I, you know, I still talk to every single day. Um, the coaches, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just just great people, great, just great experience. Yeah. Um, was Kenny Harvey there? Brandon Harvey. Brandon Harvey. Brandon, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was like my being a little brother, big brother system. Yeah, yeah. Try to implement in college. He was mine, and uh, when I got there, he was a senior, super senior. Right. You know, um, he had graduated. I actually saw Brandon like a couple weeks back. Oh, nice. He lives in LA now. Okay, he's yeah. a, he was a baller out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, and a uh, great conference you guys are in. Yeah. We used to man. We I think we had one bad season, one losing season. Mm-hmm. You know, out of the, out of those five years that I was there, the rest, you know, national championship, semifinals. You know, made the playoffs twice. You know, I left there with like I left there with three rings. So. Three rings. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's awesome, man. I mean, to come from San Diego and you know, dream with that stuff and going out there to Villanova. Yeah. And plus, their basketball team. I'm sure you watch some basketball yeah, games when you're out there. Good. Yeah. Did they actually come out for the team? <laughs> uh, not too much, you know, but you know, we don't really worry about that. Yeah. You know? Because hey, those guys are basketball year round growing up. Mm-hmm. The ones who make it to that level usually, yeah, yeah they don't stop. All right, we'll hold that thought. We're going to take a break right now. We'll be right back with Rock and Fox, Iggy, the icon, and Big uh, Big out here on the board. So, uh, this is Coach Rowe Show on KBLK Radio.com. Hey, we're back on the Coach Rowe Show. I'm Coach Rowe. You got my boy Iggy. Yeah, Iggy Biggity. Daryl Wheeler, the icon, oh, man, let's big out on the board. <laughs> Rakim, tell me about, like, you know, first, you took a trip to um, Villanova, right? A, a recruiting trip. Yeah. Okay, tell me, you know, the difference between San Diego and Philadelphia, Villanova area. Yeah, well, the crazy thing is I actually took my trip in January, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. So it was snowing there. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Like, now I'm born and raised in San Diego, so when I go to... Actually, I didn't even bring a sweater. When I go, when I go, to, when I go to Villanova. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't tell you? What, in what school did you go to? <laughs> Sunny San Diego. Man. Yeah. Right. So when I got there, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's snowy and it's cold. So, um, you know, I get there. I think, uh, man, I can't remember who my host was. Actually, Benjamin Ajalana 
and uh, Thomas Weaver. Ben, actually, my team, my little mother team, we play with the Jets right now. Oh, nice. He's a left tackle. Okay. He was my host. Uh, like I said, it was cold. Um, I'm just, it was, I, I was about six, four, I might have been 200, what, 20 pounds yeah. when I left here or something like that. Yeah. I was a little kid going out there. And uh, Coach Talley, our head coach, he put the pressure on me. He was like, he want you right now. <laughs> you know, and I, at that time, I think, I think Prairie View was looking at me at that yeah, time. San Jose, so, right? Prairie View and San Jose, yeah. you're right. And uh, and uh, Colorado State. And um, he put the pressure on me. I'm like, man, uh, <laughs> all right, forget it. I'm just gonna take it and run with it. <laughs> I just, you know, I just kind of it was on the table and it was, it was what I got first. Yeah. And I didn't know what was gonna come after that, and uh, I kind of just took that and ran with it. Yeah. You know. And um, what you notice know, immediately the difference of Philadelphia. Uh, I mean, it's it's like downtown, right? I had, what did I have to get used to the most, man? You know, it's funny. I was really homesick that first semester. Uh-huh. Normal. Yeah, it was really. I was, you know, I missed, you know, Mexican food. You know, I missed, <laughs> that's what they all say. Yes. <laughs> Everybody that leaves you, the first thing come out their mouth, man. They ain't got no real Mexican food, <laughs> man. Taco shop. Man. Man. Yeah. Man. <laughs> as soon as I get back to Dago, that's the first place I'm going. Yeah. So in your time there, you transitioned from Mexican food to what? What became your fa- favorite food out there? Uh, I think the Chinese food might have been. <laughs> they got Chinese, good Chinese food and good pizza out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, a little thin. Yeah, that and um, the Chinese food. They got some good Italian food, mm-hmm. you know. But like when I said, we're on campus, so we would, you know, order takeout or mm-hmm. something whenever. You know, notice home he didn't mention soul food. <laughs> nah, it Come on, bro. <laughs> no soul. Look up in soul. I'm in the white school. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Come on, man. You, you got to have right. some of them yams and, you know, barbecue and greens and things. But so when you come home, they'll either attack the, uh, the local uh, yeah. taco shops. Lolitas, man. <laughs> Lolita. Go to Lolitas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I wanted to ask you, uh, in Philly, is there a designated area that you guys are restricted to hang out in, or is it just your own, your enter at your own risk type of philosophy? Well, yeah, you know, they, uh, there are neighborhoods in Philly that, you know, that are considered, like, dangerous, you know, like North Philly, you know, some parts of West Philly. Um, but being at that school, we didn't, we didn't really, we didn't really leave camp, the campus area too much. Mm-hmm. And obviously, we, we want to go to the mall, or you know, we'll drive to the mall. If we want to go into the city, you know, where they have they have events, or there's you know whatever's going on, museums, other restaurants, you know, maybe if there were bars, certain certain bars or clubs or something we ever wanted to go to, you know, we'll go into the city. But you know, we um, and the good thing about it is being there, there are people that we know who are from Philly. Oh. So some of my teammates who are from Philly or who are from Jersey, which is you know five ten minutes away across the bridge, and uh. You know, so they they will kind of know, you know, the ins and outs, and you know where not to go. And right. So you know, we made sure that you know we weren't we weren't getting in any trouble, or we weren't any uh, putting ourselves in any you know, negative position, you know, and things like that. So uh, you know, pretty pretty safe. You know, I, don't, I don't think I, I I never got in any trouble there. You know. Yeah, because you know I just heard a lot of stories about Philly, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, certain parts of it, mm-hmm. and I was just wondering if you guys, you know weren't allowed to go in certain areas. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure during the time he preached, you know, you know, you know, the head coach they talking to the kids, don't do this, don't go there, mm-hmm. go, don't go here. Um, so it's kind of pretty much on you. Yeah, it's you up know, to you. Be safe, right? yeah. be smart, you know, keep, you know, be aware of your, your, your surroundings, you know, things like that. And, uh, hey, how far was uh, Philly from Villanova? Uh, about about 15, 20 minutes okay. outside the city. So it's not bad. The city, yeah. You got like the L trains and everything out there? Yeah, we got okay. a train right on campus. You could, you, could, you could go right into the city. Then you got New Jersey right there. You got Delaware, you know, about 30, 45 minutes uh, south. You got New York, about an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, everything is kind of, they call it like the tri-state. Yeah. They got everything is like right there in, uh, in the same area. Whereas over here, everything's stretched out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Drive a couple hours to LA, you gotta drive about five hours to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, eight hours to the, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so, so, you've been in three major cities now. 
San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and Carolina. Carolina. Mm -hmm. He was in Minnesota, too. Minnesota. I trained in Miami. Yeah, right. My mother lives in uh, Houston. Oh, yeah. in Houston. Yeah. So I was, you know, I've, I've been there for a little while. Which one do you like the best? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Mexican food. Why? Oh, the Mexican food. The Mexican food. Is just, oh, yeah. Lolita. <laughs> so, Lolita is an iggity biggity. Yeah. Icon. Uh, Icon, man. I don't know. Something about San Diego, man, is just. I guess I just grew up here. I know a lot of people here. Or you don't need a sweater. You don't need, you <laughs> need a sweater, <laughs> even in December. Yeah. Uh, you can't beat the weather. Um, this is just where my heart is at. I got a lot of friends and you know close family friends in, in Philly, and I loved it there. Um, Houston, my mom wants me to move, move to Houston so bad. <laughs> I'm like, no, I just I can come visit. Yeah, you know, I can visit, <laughs> but I you know eventually plan on. You know, buying a home here and you know, yeah, wherever I'm at, like you know, retire here. So down, yeah, yeah, so here. So uh, from high school, you know, then you go to college. When, when did you realize that? Wow, this is uh, different. And what was so different from high school to college? Uh, I think I was nervous. And uh, before I answer this question, I want to preach to a lot of kids who uh, you hear this a lot from a lot of kids. Oh yeah, I want to go to uh, you know, Oregon, or yes, Alabama, exactly. I want this, I want that, and I want to go to these top notch schools. And um, sometimes they they lose sight of like, dude, get your school, get your free schooling. And right. if you and if you're as good as you you want to be, or as good as you say you are, and you want to take it to the next level, they they will find you. They'll find and you I have this talk with a lot of kids. Don't think just because you didn't get recruited by this big school that right. you're not capable of uh, getting, you know, accomplishing your dreams. And uh, a lot of people don't know, like Villanova is a double A school, even though we are our, our other sports, basketball, a uh, volleyball is division one at yeah. the highest level. Our football is D1 double A. And uh, so I preach to a lot of kids, man, just don't don't get caught up in, I need to go to this big school, yeah. I want to go to NFL. I, need, I know the guys, if you, you got guys who are do D3, D2 players get drafted yeah, every yeah. single oh, year, yeah. every yeah. year. And sign, draft and sign every, sign, every year. You, have, you know, like on Monday Night Football, when they, when they, the guys get up there and say where they're from and all yeah. that. Man, you hear small schools all oh, year yeah. long, man. Yeah. Yeah. Schools you never heard of. You right. Like, like, exactly. you know? and, and this is the starting corner for the Redskins. <laughs> <Exactly. you know? laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, you know, I was – it was it was exciting. You know, coming from high school, first is that jump, like, all right, I'm on JV. Damn, what is varsity going to be like? You yeah. know, high school. Then I started playing varsity. And I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. Right. I'm doing – then I was like, all right, now you want to college. So you get to college and you you know watching uh you know when you're a freshman you know you're visiting all that they showing you clips and plays of everybody and the, the crowd and the fans you're like this is exciting but at the same time you know you kind of nervous like oh dang you know, <laughs> how am I gonna do you know? <laughs> but uh you know you trust your coaches you coach you trust your training and when I actually started I actually got thrown into the fire initially I wasn't the starter one of our guys got hurt and uh he was like you're up go he threw me in threw me in the fire <laughs> and I'm like it's freshman I'm like oh dang. You know, I'm ready, but we're playing Temple. It's like our oh. in-city in rival, yeah. you know, our big game. And they're back there at 118, actually. And so you know, they, they threw me in the game. And I actually I actually had a good game, playing nervous and playing scared. <laughs> I had a you know, great game. And uh, But I think once you get over that that little hurdle of, oh, the competition's a little scary, you know, all you need is a couple plays, and you kind of fill it out. Yeah, you and you're, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. It's football, yeah. you know. You've mm -hmm. been doing it all your life. Yeah. Well, it can't be any scarier than walking into some white family's house. In <laughs> <laughs> good old Claremont. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they were nice. But the, the speed of the game, right? Oh, the speed. Yeah, the speed was a lot faster. Uh, and as I got each year, I actually I got better and better every every year. You know, up, mm -hmm. until, up until my senior year, you know, I got better and better. And you adjust to that speed, you know what I mean? You get smarter, too, at that. Um so you would just now you now you know how to you know read things now as I'm getting more experience as a player now I can all right he's doing this all right their their tendencies are this mm -hmm. and that now I'm getting a little bit more smarter so you can uh, you can play a little faster and then that translates to the NFL as well mm -hmm. um, that that speed is even, is even more <laughs> faster believe it or not it's even more faster I was like, the transition from college to NFL it's even more faster <laughs> and, uh, you know that speed then you got 
you got guys like Cam Newton who want to who want to play with the snap count. Now you got yeah, now you got now you really got to you got to be on your P's and Q's. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, but that's that speed is definitely. And then like I said, you adjust to that, you know, and uh, you know you get ready and uh, from from there on out, it's like I said, the experience is going to come yeah. and you know it's it's second nature. Easier. So now in Villanova, also you you, you played on special teams, though you were a starter, but you had a lot of yeah. block punts or block kicks, right? I did, yeah. I used to <laughs> turn my shoulder and squeeze, <laughs> squeeze, <laughs> squeeze right into that big ass <laughs> and get my hand up, man. I had we had a couple, you know, return back for touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah. Um, I think that was my junior year. I had like one or two in my senior year. I think I had like three. Nice, um, man. That. Right. Now as you get older, they you know, you become a vet now, you don't gotta do this. <laughs> you know. You're blocking punts, so you're in there. Yeah. So where were uh, some of the you should say you played Tampa but other uh D one games you guys played uh, there? We played Temple for three for if I'm not mistaken, we played them for three years. Oh, okay. They had that when I was there I remember they signed like a four year contract. Oh, okay. And we played them the first the first the first game for three years. Mm-hmm. And then my senior year, we played Boston College. Okay, okay. We went up to Boston College and played them. We were, we were, man, we were neck and neck up until the fourth quarter. But then they kind of they beat us. Mm-hmm. You know, but we were, you can, you really, you really couldn't tell the difference between you know, double A and one A. No, we were no. playing with them. You know exactly. I mean? Bad. Yeah. You see it all the time now. Yeah. 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 yeah we. Uh, double A schools and B one A schools every year. Oh, um, all the time, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Eastern Washington, beat Oregon State. Yep. Uh, when I played Oregon State was uh, one double A. They beat Michigan. Michigan, but, right. You know, I had a couple guys at Richmond. They beat Duke two years in a row. Mm-hmm. Uh, UC Davis when uh, Tim Plow from Ramona was there, and uh, Nevin Bergen from Hoover. Mm-hmm. They beat Stanford. Mm-hmm. So you know, they, oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, it, it happens every year. They're all D one, you know, D one athletes. Yep. So yeah. it's, it's, kids don't understand that. Now, um, let's go to academics, my man. What did you study? Uh, I actually changed around my uh, changed my major a lot in uh, Villanova. You know, I started. I think I started like communications. Mm-hmm. And then I went to sociology, then criminal justice. You know, when you coming in there, you kind of don't really know. Right. You know Nineteen yeah. years old, what you want to do with your life? Plus, you're playing sports, and you're thinking, no, "I'm gonna go to NFL or right. whoever after that, I want to go professional." Mm-hmm. And um, so I. At Villanova, we uh, our criminology and our sociology, all those classes kind of intertwine with each other. Mm-hmm. So I took a lot of you know social classes and criminology classes. So I ended up, you know, with a sociology uh, major and um, I minored in uh, psychology, and um, so with experience in criminology. So and I actually did an internship at a correctional facility oh, for about four about four months. So I got a lot of experience. I was actually in the jail, wow. you know, sitting in the uh, the uh, title was called case manager okay so i'm actually in the in the actual jail i have access to the block you know i can walk in there you know inmates and wow it would come up and you know, we talk or whatever we have to go over so you know both both fields i you know got a little bit of experience in. that's awesome but the crazy thing is i don't know if i want to go into law whatever's going on i just especially if you have to work in the jail oh. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah, it's, it's a dangerous, scary place, man. I yeah. I recommend. Yeah, I recommend not, not going in. <laughs> yeah, do, not go, do not go there. Do not do something stupid again. Yeah, in there. It's a place that you do not. Are you, you know. listening, Biggie? <laughs> Had to wake up again. <laughs> that woke me up. It's a place that you don't want to go to, man. Just definitely no low leaders there. Baloney and baloney, cold oatmeal, a hot bowl of nothing. <laughs> And, but at least they put raisins in those. <laughs> that's, that's, it is raisin. Never seen raisins with legs. No, sorry, Al. Come on, biggity. Not a place you want to go. Now, Rakim, like for um, you know these kids, the high school guys, like your whole day is planned out, right? Yes, your whole day is planned out. So, like, go through a, a normal day in Villanova. In yeah. season, yeah, in, in season. season. You guys practice first, or you guys practice after school, or um, we we change that around as uh, 
uh, during my, my whole career there. Mm-hmm. I remember when I first got there, we were practicing in the afternoon. Okay. Then we started practicing in the mornings, but you, you're waking up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got your practice in the morning. I think, um, okay, right after practice, you got class, you got class. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people, some people got like three, four classes. Some people have one. And then, you know how in college is Monday, Tuesday, you have one or two, mm-hmm. you know, Thursday or Wednesday, Friday, you'll have like four or something mm-hmm. like that. So depending on the week, I mean the day, you know, you'll have, you'll have that many classes that day. And then um, after that, you would have, you have your study hall. You got to get your study hall in. Mm-hmm. And that's, like I saw that. So that's from the moment you wake up at 630, mm-hmm. you're done at about 630, 730 mm-hmm. after your study hall. And um, you do it again. You know, Monday Mondays are off. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you do that. Um, Friday, you know, practice isn't. Is, it's more like a walkthrough. Mm-hmm. There's games on Saturday, and um, yeah, during the season, you know, college athletes are busy. Um, twelve to twelve, like full time job. Yeah. You know, you find you know you find your time to have your social life in the weekend or mm-hmm. you know, in between. You know, whatever you got going on, but it definitely is. Then we get to the NFL, it's even more full time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, college it was man, college was fun. So after practice, then you go to like more film or you go to class or a tutoring? You know what? We had film in the mornings. Oh, okay. Yeah. We had films in the mornings. You wake up, you uh we have either our special team film or a D line or you know, whatever your position specific. Mm-hmm. Maybe thirty minutes or an hour. And then um you go to practice, but then they came out with this program. They try to th- they try to do so you can get uh, opportunity to watch film on your own. When we got when we go to Villanova, they give you laptops. Okay, like they come to freshman give you a laptop. Wow. So the coaches, you know, they try to create this program where you can just you know you got a, a username and a mm-hmm. password. You can log into your dorm, you know, and watch film. Oh, all right. And, um, and that's another thing a guy got to you know coming coming into college is watching film is important. Right. Film study. Film study mm-hmm. is important. So. Mm-hmm. Just watching the tendency of guys, players, you know, seeing what coaches like, what they don't like. Uh, I'm trying to think anything, anything you can find on mm-hmm. film that'll give you that okay. edge. You know what I mean? What they like to do on third and long, what they want to do mm-hmm. on first and short, what are they running? You know, in the first half, what's working for them? You know, just just yeah. breaking it down pretty much. Just a regular film study. So you know, that was your responsibility to do. You know, uh-huh. when you got back to your dorm, mm-hmm. you know, even more so. So when you guys, you know, you were a D lineman, so you had to describe a D line meeting, like what, what goes on there. You had your notes already. Yeah. And... So you have your notebook. You got to meet. Oh man, I remember this one day. Uh, <laughs> we actually went to three D line coaches at Villanova. Oh, when I was there. Okay. One day, uh, dude forgot his. One of my teammates he forgot his notebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coach in his dorm room. Now Villanova is a small campus. Yeah. If you guys ever, uh, if you like, ever seen it before? It's a small campus. So all our dorms are on campus. Athletes have to stay on campus. Not like other schools where mm-hmm. guys have to find an apartment. Right. Right? You get like your stipend and pay your rent. All yeah. that. We're on campus, so we're in the dorm. He made he made him run back to his room and get his notebook. And we had to wait wait for him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we like said the stadium's like you're in the top and you can see the dorm. So you look out the window, you see him running all, <laughs> the, way back, and running all the way back. <laughs> and then, so, yeah, that was funny uh, to get his notebook. But so you go in, you know, you got your notes. Usually we'll go over a practice, so he'll you know he'll just pull up for practice. You know your clips. Mm-hmm. You know, all right, we got here. What was your, what was your responsibility here? Um, all right, he'll break that down. Break down each player. You know, it's four of us. You know, we ran a three, three, five, and and sometimes around a four, three. So he just go down the line of mm-hmm. who did, who did what, what you're supposed to do. Um, they'll they'll install. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever whatever they want to change up, whatever they want to game plan. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we'll just write it down, we'll get it in. Our head coach will come in sometimes. You know, he'll make sure everything's been, you know, studied, right. things like that. Then we go on the field, he'll correct pretty much whatever, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, you know, we want to do on the field. So, right. And, uh, you know, as you got older, as you get older, you kind of, you know, running the same system. So now I know what I'm doing. I know, yeah. what I'm, you know, know what's going on. I probably don't have to take as much notes anymore just because uh, I know what's going on. Whereas the rookie, the freshman and sophomore, yeah. as you know, they're, they're trying to get everything down. They're nervous. You know, they, they don't know what's going on. You know, right. they're still adjusting. Things. Gotcha. Yeah. No joke. No <laughs> <laughs> what was your retro? You're like, little pressure. 
Um, you know, a lot of guys have to redshirt that freshman year. Yeah, and you know, I, I hate it when I hear guys complain. I don't want to live. Like, what? <laughs> if, I don't get it. Exactly. Redshirting is, is a beautiful thing. It's the adjustment period. It's got to be adjustment job. period. You get another year of free school. Right. You know, another year of free school, meal meal plan, and like living, all that. Another free year. And um, so you get a chance to get stronger. You get a chance to, to learn the system. Mm-hmm. You know, get bigger, develop all of that. So why not? Why not take that time? And then you get your four years to play. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. So I'm all for red shirting. You know, if yeah. you're good enough to play, you know, go ahead, go yeah, play. But there's, there's yeah. nothing wrong with red shirting at all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was just developmental. Yeah, we had some good guys ahead of ahead of me. Um, we had like all American being there. We had a you know good linebacker core. So I learned from those guys oh, yeah. out in the weight room. I think my first year, I put them on like maybe 15, 20 pounds. Yeah, you got a big Going man. from about like 220 to, like, I think I was about probably 250, yeah. just something like that, 245, 250 in my first year. So I developed, got bigger, got stronger. So that way, when, I, when they did throw me in the fire, uh, that following year, I was, I was ready. Yeah. And that's just, so what do you think was your best uh, couple games in your, in your career? Uh, Villanova. Um, Senior year, we played Stony Brook. I mean, that was a game. I had had like two sacks. I had, I think, I blocked a field goal. Um, what did you like play of the week a couple times? Or I think I had it. I had it once. Mm-hmm. I was uh, I, think I had it once my senior year. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, so we're Four years of games, man. Division. So, you know, the, the double A, uh, they do the playoff system. Right. We made them every year. So we played like almost close to 50 games. Yeah. You know, most guys wow. are playing, you know, in their four years, if they don't go to the playoffs, we got the bowl games and stuff like that. They don't have that playoff system. You know, they don't play as much as we do. Right. We play a lot of games. So it's like four or five games after the season. After, wow. Yeah. Just to get to the championship. So, so it was, if we, me, Biggity, Big Al, and Roll go to uh, Villanova mm-hmm. and go through their Hall of Fame, Wall of Fame. That's a big queen. <laughs> are we going to see? You know, I have a man. I would hope so. <laughs> I haven't been back there recently. <laughs> the last time I was there was maybe like a year ago. Um, but at Villanova, what they do is they uh, usually the coaches, you know, you got to give you got to get a relationship with the coaches or they like you as a player. You know, they'll have like a, a action shot photo of you, you yeah, know, okay. in the office or somewhere, and they have actually have a list of all the guys, like all Americans. Mm-hmm. Oh, the picture is pictures of them, you know, all Americans, all guys who went pro, you know, stuff like that. So, Villanova's so I'm biggest, to other than you, who's their biggest um, superstar yeah. Yeah. in the history? Uh, how we long actually went there? Yeah, how long, how long, yeah. Long. yeah that's right. I see him. I've seen he's obviously been back and forth to Nova. I've met him. I've met. Uh, seen him in Charlotte a couple times. He's probably like the biggest, you know, Hall of yeah. Fame, yeah, you know, NFL Hall of Fame, all that. Uh, Brian Westbrook, he oh, was Brian from the back. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Brian yeah. Westbrook is there. Uh, you got Brian Finneran, who was you know, oh yeah, you know, Falcons receiver for yeah. played for about ten years or something. Yeah, like that. was there a guy yeah. that played the. Uh, uh, baseball is a pro Caesar. Caesar. Matt Caesar. He's, yeah. he's probably going to go down as one of the all time going over the pitcher. He's an outfielder. So he, he played football. Who does he play for now? Chicago. Cubs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cubs, huh? Yeah. He's a receiver. He was like a receiver. He's a wildcat. You know, a yeah. slot. He's like all American. He's a football. Yeah. He's a guy. Yeah. They, yeah. Said he would, they said he would have went, he would have went, you know, second or third round. Yeah. And he, Ooh, he chose the baseball. Chose baseball. And he was good at that too. So. Football is his hobby sport. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so something to do in the, in the fall. What about like politicians, actors? Um, geez, man. I Quills. Know, <laughs> I know the guy who, the movie The Town, I don't know if you guys have seen. The guy, the guy, the bank robbers. Uh-huh. The director, I know the director went there. Guys up from Villanova. We have a lot of people on Wall Street. Yeah, they have the good, that good business, business school. Business program. Finance. So I have yeah. a couple of friends that I went to school there. They all, you know, live in New York, on Wall Street. Um, I'm 
not sure about any actor. I'm I think, I think he's going to be on there while <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he will Basketball. Be. Now, I know oh, they got basketball. basketball. Yeah. You know what's Bad funny? Ass. We oh. actually have more We have more uh, NFL football players out of Villanova than NBA. professional basketball. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? <laughs> crazy as that sound. Right? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. crazy. No, <laughs> crazy as that sound. That's oh, not good. That's man. funny. Man. Well, active right now. Well, we have four yeah. right now. Congrats from Villanova. Yes, yeah. in the pros. Ben, yeah. ben Ashalana, he's with the Jets. Uh, Terrell, uh, he's with the Redskins. Uh, and Ross from Tron, he's with the Patriots. Yeah, Tron, I remember that guy. Yeah. But the guy that recruited him from Villanova, Billy Crocker, Crocker. you know, he's always was raving about him. Man. He, he wanted him bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like what they saw. Uh, yeah. He went around. Props to him for it. Hey, get my vote. He watched the film like five minutes later. He called. He's like, man, this, he want this kid. Well, I remember. When, I remember when he came to campus, and um, I don't know if you if you if you remember. I don't know if you met him up there that day. I was there. But, yeah. Were you there? He's like five. He's real short. Yeah. I used to, I used to make fun of him. Uh, he's like he's real short. He's like, he's like five, seven or something. And uh, he came in with his little collar shirt, you know, filling over with little slacks. I'm walking around getting to meet him. I'm like, all right, man. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I Dude, what's, what's Villanova? Yeah, what's Villanova? Yeah, what's Villanova? <laughs> Villanova? Yeah. At that time, I had never heard of the school. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't know what, I didn't know, like, who Villanova was, what, where it was, you know, anything like that. And then it seemed like after I heard it, after I heard about it, I started hearing about it. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the same year that the basketball team went to the Final Four. Yeah. The last wow. time that they were, like, in the Final Four. And, uh, you know, he came on campus and. You know, you know, you're a uh, high school senior. You got college, you know, recruiters on campus, and you guys are walking around. You know, it was kind of cool. Everyone's like, "Oh man, who's that? Who's, who's he walking with?" You know. Mm-hmm. So you know, it, that was cool. And, you know, we went, you know, sat on the lunch table. You know, we discussed everything, all of that. I don't know if you remember. I had to get my damn. Uh, excuse me. I had to get. I had to get my. Uh, my math grade, remember? Yeah, I had yeah, you're math. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get, I had to get one math grade. Yeah, I, I was struggling there, man. It was like do or die. I, had yeah. got, I took my ACT. I took my SAT. You know, I was good. Yeah, good all And I, I needed to pass this one math class that I was struggling in in order either that or I probably would have ended yeah. up going to Southwestern College or, you know, something like that. And, uh, man, don't diss so Southwestern. Southwestern. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, man. Hey. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Bro. No, you went somewhere else. But uh, you got your math class. So. I had to get. I had. To, I remember uh, like the last however many weeks or you know months before the, uh, the year was over, I was in there after school and at lunch uh, uh, going over stuff. So she was twiddling me about going over it, getting work in. She let me, you know, uh, do like practice quizzes and stuff like that. She and I really actually appreciate that. Miss Times. There Ms. you Times. go. That's the remember her name. Nice. She would uh she went she made me come in and you know made me get all that stuff together and you know just help me get an opportunity. So nice, that's great. So yeah, nice. what about um going going to the Carolina Panthers? Like, what can you tell us about you know uh, Cam Newton without doing any D'Angelo Russell stuff? But <laughs> <laughs> man, I mean, you know, like his leadership and skills and all that. <laughs> Cam's a man. He's I think energy you know, uh-huh. when I when I when I hear or see Cam because he's I don't know you, uh, people got all this stuff to say about the mm-hmm. Panthers this year we you know oh, they're dancing too much and they're mm-hmm. this they're that they're, they're they're acting like fools whatever mm-hmm. man we had fun this year yeah. you walk in the locker room you would have thought it was you would have thought we were like we were like a high school team yeah. we legit have fun people playing missing each other you know throwing stuff at each other everyone talking about each other having a blast. Uh, you know, we got a little bat, we got little balls that take you roll up. People trying to shoot balls. At <laughs> like we legit had fun, and I think with football, when you have that, you have that, you know, that pain and the energy, companionship mm-hmm. and the energy with your teammates. You have it builds it builds the chemistry, and um, and I think you saw that the entire year. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just always a lot of energy. Um, even when we were, I mean, I guess when, when the Super Bowl came, everyone was like, oh, where are the Panthers at? And, you know, it was a lot of back and forth with that. But you know, as far as the whole season, 
you know, Cam, he, he brings a lot of energy. Uh, he's, he's a you know, great teammate to have. Um, funny, funny guy. He'll, you know, in practice, he's, you know, talking back and forth to, you know, to the, to the defense. Everyone's <laughs> just, like I said, energy is the word. Right. And everyone feeds off of it, you know. And, um, you know, we go at it. You know, offensively, we go at it. We just, you know, locker room, weight room. Then even, like, outside of the locker room, everyone, when you got uh when you got signed with uh with carolina mm-hmm. like what was the first thing that you had to do because i mean you, you never know what's going to happen you don't know if you're going to get cut you don't have a place to really stay because what did you stay in a hotel during camp yeah uh, during uh, when i first got there i got there in may for the uh it was a wiki mini camp mm-hmm. uh, even before that people don't know that i had a i actually had a cfl workout scheduled for i can't remember that let's say it was scheduled for a saturday mm-hmm. and um so I'm getting I'm getting prepped. I was out all last year, so that was the first thing that came up. And I was like, all right, I'm just taking it. I need to cry, bro. I need, you know, I need, to, I need to play ball. I need to get out of here. And that was the first thing that I was going to just take and run with. And um, they ended up calling me. You know what? I did it, and I did it. Uh, I did a, a mini camp with the Chicago Bears, and um, that I, that obviously didn't work out. And um, so I'm preparing myself for this this CFL workout in Florida and I think like two days or three days before the Panthers called me like hey we want to bring you out to our, our rookie mini camp I'm like, like, dang alright uh, gotta go this is a Carolina Panthers <laughs> yeah. I'm, going, I'm going, yeah. going for that I'm going I've been training yeah. the whole time I'm going to it so I went there it's 50 man mini camp and I think they, they chose like four of us four or five of us wow and, uh, and I was one of the ones that they chose so you know from that point on I was like middle OTAs mm-hmm. mid summer so it was or during the summer, so it would have been um, I guess beginning of May, middle of May. Mm-hmm. So we stayed in the hotel, went through the whole offseason period, went through the whole OTA period. Um, then you come back, you know, after OTAs for that, that six week break, you're off for like six mm-hmm. week break, you report to camp. We, we do our training camp in South Carolina at Waffle College. Oh, Waffle House. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> And then there you're like in dorms and everything. Yeah, you're in college, college setting. And then so camp's done. They make the final cuts. The, the, you, now you know you're part of the team. What's the first thing you got to do? Like, what do you have to start getting prepared for? You got to find a place. Yeah. Me came and my, up those dorms. Uh, yeah, me and my, <laughs> me and one of my teammates, we actually were roommates. You know, okay. We had an apartment about 10 minutes outside the city, mm-hmm. outside of Charlotte, about 10 minutes uh, east you know, outside the city. Two bedroom apartment. We split it, split the rent. Um, not too far from the stadium. South Memphis, right by the freeway. Straight shot. Mm-hmm. Taking less than ten minutes to get there. Get the school. Then you uh, all right. Now you got to start getting your car. You know, I got I got my car actually registered out there. Um, then you got to you know get your furniture. It's <laughs> just not that much time once once the uh, yeah. camp's over, right? Mm-hmm. You got to. You know what? The way they did it is kind of they don't they don't really give you time. They after they give you up until a certain amount of time. Obviously, the new players, mm-hmm. the old older players, they already established they're in Charlotte. So after camp, they just go home. Yeah. The new players, you gotta right after camp, you you're in this hotel. They give you I think like a week or so to uh, to find your you know your situation. Yeah. They give you they try to help you give you these uh, give you people that they people who have who are associated with the team. Uh-huh. So they'll try to help you out to get get a spot or you know wherever you want to be. And so they give you a week to do that. And so we eventually got that. You know, you get your furniture. I got a bed. I got a dresser. And I got a TV. I don't got no pictures in my wall. <laughs> I got no this or that. I don't got all this. Big giant couch. beanbag sofa. <laughs> couch and a table. Like it's, it's, like a, it's like an athlete house. It's a plain, you know, college college athlete. <laughs> now, when you get your apartment, was there a Lolita close by? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, how's, the, how's the Mexican food in North Carolina? <laughs> yeah, I, I go to Chipotle. That's, 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 that's the answer. Close. The answer. Yeah. Close to get. I don't even go to Mexican place out there. They don't taste the same. Real quick, I just wanted to ask you about uh, your draft day experience. That's coming up soon. Draft. It's a couple of months, yeah. yeah a couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah, the draft. I think the draft is like in. It's April. Yeah, Towards the end of April. Three, right? two or three weeks. Yeah. 
Yeah, what was that like for you? Well, my agent, uh, Christina Phillips, she actually, she flies her guys down uh, in Miami. And uh, she's great. Uh, we had our, we had our uh, a suite in the, right off of uh, Biscayne. Right off Biscayne, right, right, in the, right, right across from Shockey, right in downtown. And um, she had a suite. She has food. She actually threw my mom out, my oh, sister my out. Nice. Ooh, so they have their room. Mm-hmm. Then we're up in the suite, you know, with the TVs and me and our other guy, who were roommates. You know, we're all her his family's there, my and my family's there, and uh, we're just all sitting there. And then you get, you know, fourth round. I think I was rejected like sixth or seventh mm-hmm. round. You know, it's the fourth round, and then you know, teams are calling you. Hey, man, how you doing? We want to see if we, want, we, want, we <laughs> like you. We're gonna get you. And this is like. This is the NFL. You're sitting there. You got to college. You know, everyone's excited for you. You're excited. You're nervous. And it's like, all right, all right, they calling. Okay. All right. Hey, we're going to we think about taking you this round. You like, we're watching the TV so you can see uh, they took somebody else. So they, they ended up picking somebody tonight. Yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> so you're nervous. You're nervous. And then they, some, another team calls you. Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, so and so. And then it gets to a point where multiple teams are calling so that uh, people uh, who are going through this process, they know that. Teams ask for your number, your agent number, your mom's number, your sister's <laughs> number, whoever you're going to be with on draft. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking, and I have I look at it, I have a call waiting, <laughs> so I can't answer it because this team could potentially, could yeah. potentially want me. So they'll call my agent. And uh, so they're, like, talking to my agent while I'm talking to wow. I'm talking to the <laughs> She's talking to the Vikings. Didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like Iggy with all his girlfriends. <laughs> hey, I usually get Chipotle's <laughs> number. <laughs> and so, you're, you know, you're kind of just, you're nervous, but you're excited at the same time. And then it's like, you know, part of you was like, oh, man. Like I said, San Diego kid, it's like, oh, the Chargers going to call. You know, part <laughs> of you would love to play oh, yeah. hometown. But in, oh, yeah. but in reality, you don't care where you go. You know, and so, uh, you know, like I said, I was getting calls all throughout, you know, from fourth to seventh round. And, you know, it got to the last pick. I didn't get picked. And so, you know, it was, it was, it was hard. It was, it was heartbreaking at the same time. But uh, I knew I would get picked up. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, you know, I said that I would. We decided to go with the Minnesota Vikings. For the last um, few few seconds we have here, uh, your mom. How about some about you know honoring your mom and what she did to you know, raise you? Crazy man. Talk about Super Bowl. Love, <laughs> nah, my mom's great. You actually, uh, you uh, yeah, I know. Grew up with her we go way back. back. Yeah. We go way back. Yeah, my mom, man. She's she's amazing. Uh, you know, really supportive. Always supportive. You know, let me, you know, be free when, yeah. you know, when I wanted to and, you know, when I needed to be. But very supportive, you know, uh, you know, loving, a lot of energy. Um, her and my sister. Okay. You know, those are like the, the women in my life, her, my sister, my grandma. Um, they contributed yeah, to your success. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, never, never give up. Um, follow your dream. You know, and just, you know, she's came, she's been. So shout out her. to Tiff- Tiffany. Tiffany, yes. <laughs> Houston. Moms held the meals down. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you for coming right yes, here. Sir. Incredible. You're doing a great job out there. It's another success story from San Diego. So hopefully they'll yeah. put the low leaders out there. Oh, Maybe I can start that. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll be back next week on the Coach Rose Show with Iggy and the Icon. Big yes, Al. Thanks yeah. for coming, Rock Cam. Thanks. 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 Thanks.